Hi, you welcome to SAS TV. My name is Belen Bez, and this is Belen Bez Presents the House of Elements, and this is your Real Reality Reading, and I want to personally thank you for joining me, baby. This is your monthly. This is what's going on for the month of October for you. We finally got this thing working, didn't we? Thank you for being patient with me, because uh, I like MP3s, but, you know, I have a lot going on. I got a lot of planning going on. Here we go, baby. Here you go. I have you in mind. I have you in mind. And why I have you in mind, I do see two things coming up for you uh, in the spring, April 2018. I do see some things coming up in January for you. But November is going to be a time where you're going to be getting over things and you're going to be moving to new positions. And and let's just see what October takes you. From the top of the reading, the cards are talking about celebrations, endings, new monies, reviews, 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 what things mean to you. So in the first uh, 12 days of October, you're going to be reviewing what means something to you. Well, uh, am I making enough money? Is this the area where I want to live? Are my thoughts what I am acting on? You're going to be really reevaluating yourself. And I think that it is the Lord that's trying to move you up in position. Will you answer the call? That's what it is. Will you answer the call? Because I just see where things are going to be, be getting elevated. I see things being prepared for you, especially when it comes to the end of September. Your end of September is going to put you in a place of loneliness but you must understand you must understand that you have to conquer yourself when it comes down to that because going to that next month, preparation time, first 17 days, you're going to be reevaluating everything about yourself. Money, living situations, what you worry about and who you worry about. Are you minding your own business? Just things that come across your mind. You're going to be traveling towards some really good things about the second week, about that weekend. There's going to be a new job or a new responsibility that's going to be coming in for you. And I feel like it's very creative for you or it's your know-how. It's your niche. It's the thing that you know how to do. So let September do what it do. Feel it, be it, see it. In the September, going into October, let those thoughts that go through your mind prepare you for what's going to come up in the second week of October. New jobs, new beginnings, things that you have a niche for is going to come into your hand, which will make it easy to obtain it and make you walk in making more money. And you're going to be happy about that. Okay. You're going to be happy about that. But you're going to be very hard on yourself about what it wants you to do. The details of the position, what you have to do. You're going to be questioning, can I do it? Can I not do it? And I want to tell you something. You're questioning your, yourself because you had to reevaluate yourself the first uh, week of October. See where I'm taking you. See where I'm taking where your thoughts are. See how you think about things and answer them. And then you come back tested on how you felt in that time frame. It's only a test to see how strong you are. Okay. And you're going to be blessed in that. You're going to be coming to a new job a niche a niche a niche separate your things love life career love life career everything is not the same but you have to teach yourself those methods so you will be able to know how to handle things questioning is only the questioning from are you living the way you want to live and you'll be able to be taken up a notch in the month of october okay so once the first two two and a half weeks of that goes by you're going to be sustained you're going to be happy you're going to sit there and you're going to be like i can do this and the next era, the last two weeks of October is all about relationships for you. Absolutely. It looks wonderful. I'm happy for you. Because I see there's going to be a relationship that's going to come in. Now, this relationship that's going to come in is not a remake. This relationship that's going to come in, it's this person is a professional. This person is someone that you may think or you may have thought in the past before you reevaluated the type of individual you may think will look down on you, but there's no such shit. Okay? And we in 20, I tell people all the time, we in 2017, there's no such thing as this can't be for you. You know, we getting what we trying to get, keep pushing on it. We're going to make it work along the way or it won't work at all. And that's what's coming up for you. You may be wondering, will I ever meet a partner? Will I ever meet someone that's into me? See, things take time. Things take flow. That's why I do not believe in soulmates. I don't believe in karma. I don't believe in things like that. I always think that those are terms of endearment to make money. Whatever is for you, honey, you could be broke, shameless, aimless without one dollar. And he could walk up with everything in the world and put you in a position to win. So just know whatever is for you is because you are blessed to it. Okay? Just remember I told you that because relationships are going to be taken up a notch. Now, this person that's going to come in, I feel like he's a very, he's fun. He's fun. He laughs a lot. His hair's very curly. He wears it in the same style, honey. He's worn that style for years. But it looks good on him and you would never know. Something with the, not a swoop, excuse me. You know that classic man look, baby? 
That's what he's looking like. And he's very inviting. He loves to invite people out. He will be inviting you to a lot of things. And the thing is, the first stop is forgiveness from the last relationship is what your cards are talking about. This man is going to come in the picture very strong for you and ready for love. Okay? You have to get up with the last partner in order to embrace this new man. This new man is a professional. He moves slow on everything that he does. He loves to party. He loves to have a good time, and he is flirtatious. But that's all a part of having a good time. That's all a part of seeing, being, and feeling, being in the glow, being in the glitz. He's that type of person. He loves the moment. When he parties, he parties all the way, and when he sleep, he sleep all day, and when he go there, he go all the way, and when he drop off the cliff, he goes for death. He goes over and beyond. He knows what he is here to do, and he plays it the full way, and that's somebody you want. Somebody's going to see you through. That's who he is. He's somebody that can see you through. Forget about what he looked like. His spirit is what connects you to him. Your spirit is what connects him to you, or you to him, as I was saying. But this past relationship is also popping up in your cards now with this past relationship i really 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 would like for you to reevaluate it what was your strong points in this relationship not only what was your strong points in the relationship how do you see yourself playing it out in the new relationship what improvements can you embark upon to make this new relationship many many solid how can you get on the same page with him without being fearful <laughs> that's how you begin that's how you begin because your judgments are going to be very he's going to invite you out and you'll you, uh, listen i don't need you thinking all day i don't need you thinking all day if he asks you out and you and, and you're questioning it get out there first and then question the motives while you're out there eating <laughs> That's how you do that one. Don't say no because of fear of a past relationship. But he's going to do you like that. Everybody's going to get tossed, bossed, and flossed, okay? At some point, we have to take control. And even with my own self. Even with my own self. I have to take control. I can give you, uh, I can give you lots of situations. Tell me for Libra seeds, and I give you all the situations. I give you all my little stories. I love to tell them because it inspires people. It takes you to the next level, and it gives uh, you and my clients and my friends strength. That's all I'm looking for is people with strong minds. And you're getting there. You're really building the first week of October. The first two weeks is all about you receiving and, and acknowledging your blessings, okay? The last two weeks is about fixing your love life. Not just your love life, overcoming your fear of being rejected in relationships. But then the first thing you do is let yourself down by thinking, should I go out with him? Is he going to do me wrong? That's okay. Let that be in the back of your mind. But fix it verbally. Go out with them and ask your questions. Remember the relationship you just went with it, the last relationship you just went with it, and you didn't take the time to ask questions. I'll be quick. Uh, 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 scene one. Let me show you how to check the scene. Sure, I'll go out with you. Baby, at appetizer time, it's 21 questions. Where you from? Where your mama from? You got any kids? You married? Do you have any girlfriends? Are you still hitting somebody from behind? Do you have somebody that still like you? Do you work? Have you been on your job 30 days? Are you at a zero balance? Are you at a negative? Did you overdraft at the gas station? Because if he did, it ain't no problem. The finances is the issue. It's the mind. It's the mentality. What is he trying to do? Where is he trying to take you? What does his heart stand? Do he love his mama? Can he love you? Do he take care of his kids? Those are the details. The details is not the zero balance. The details is not can he take care of you. He can take care of himself. He can take care of you. He just has to make a conscious decision to be in a together relationship with you. Sharing, sharing is what it's all about. Conquer your fears and get back with me. My name is Belen Vest.